Now, I'm Tim Kenya is the American Chamber of Commerce, a non-profit organization that works to increase Kenya-U.S. trade and investment. The second Amcham Business Summit is currently underway at the U.N. headquarters in Gigiri. Let's now cross over live to the venue and listen in. Way to, ...to satisfy these objectives and directly serves the needs of the Kenyan people and the Big Four agenda. Some, some, some uh, of you may argue against the Big Four agenda at times because of your political bias or someone else's bias, but the truth is the Big Four is what delivers good for, to the people. And, uh, and it's not time for politics when you're talking about something that's good for the people of Kenya. Our strategy recognizes the high quality foreign direct investment is, the, is essential for Kenya's development. It underscores our longstanding commitment to Kenya and to, to supporting our Kenyan partners as the continent tra transitions from foreign assistance to sustainable financial independence. You've heard me say before that Kenya should no longer be dependent upon foreign aid, not just be a beneficiary, but a bene be a benefactor for its neighbors. The United States government currently provides nearly 100 billion Kenyan shillings in annual assistance to Kenya from healthcare and agriculture to education and security and beyond. Our shared goal is a path to a, is a pay, is, is to pay the path to Kenyan self-reliance for Kenya to move from beneficiary to benefactor. This, assist, this assistance is only a, a fraction of the, uh, the approximately five trillion Kenyan shillings American businesses invest annually in Africa and given the opportunity, they will invest even more. United States companies deliver world-leading technologies and innovation to support the big four and economic growth. The United States model focuses on long-term growth and sustainability, not debt. Pause. We, we provide flexible financing and believe that hiring Kenyans to manage, lead, and do the skilled work represents the best path to long-term profitability and self-reliance. The United States government, through USAID, has launched a new funding opportunity that will solicit private sector solutions to increase two-way trade between the United States and countries in the region. We are also excited to announce another new partnership and funding opportunity with eight Kenyan pilot counties called Prosper Counties. Each one of those was represented here this morning. Those include Isiolo, Kakamega, Kiambu, Kisi, Kisumu, Makweni, Mombasa, and Nakuru. Kenyan's vision for a devolved system includes private sector growth at the county level. Since this has been difficult for counties to achieve, the United States government is leveraging expertise and relationships to support county level private sector solutions by investing in business to business relationships between the two counties, I'm sorry, between the two countries. The U.S. Export Import Bank, I told you there was good news, recently established a 400 million line of credit to finance U.S. exports for infrastructure projects in Kenya. Several U.S. engineering firms are in discussions with the National Treasury, and XM's line of credit establishes strong interest in supporting the transactions. We, uh, we believe this is a start of a strong relationship between our governments. Unlike the line of credit, under, under the line of credit, XM currently is looking at several transactions, including one involving a, a U.S. small business exporter who enjoys an excellent track record in sub-Saharan African markets. Sectors include water and service transportation. I repeat, USA Matafiki means that we will be celebrating one of the best friendships ever between the United States and Kenya on the one road that really matters, the pathway to self-reliance. USA Matafiki is the total investment of, of, of American NGOs, government, and the private sector. We should not forget that there is, there is there's power in, fr in, in friendship. There's power in the youth of this country and the potential that they have, and there's power in the private sector. And those are the things that we will be focusing on and celebrating.
All right, and uh, that's something that we're going to be following up right here on KTN News. And later on, the business desk is going to be giving us more info. That was Carl Makata, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya, who was speaking right there. But like mentioned,